Namaste and welcome. We have long been a global leader in software, but now India is rapidly stepping on to the stage for hardware, specifically the tiny powerful components at the heart of all modern electronics. You are guessing it right, semiconductors. This isn't just about importing, it's about building an entire self-sufficient silicon ecosystem right here at home and the pace of this transformation has genuinely quadrupled over the past month so how is india achieving this incredible feat and what does it mean for our future let's explore this pivotal shift beyond just manufacturing india has excelled in semiconductor design boasting significant global talent however for the actual fabrication and assembly of these critical components, we have relied heavily on external sources. This dependence brought vulnerabilities from supply chain disruptions to national security concerns. The India Semiconductor Mission launched in 2021 with a substantial financial outlay of rupees. 76,000 crore aims to create an integrated ecosystem supporting every stage of a semiconductor's journey from raw silicon to finished product. This holistic approach why the recent surge in activity is so vital. Key developments in India's semiconductor journey. The last few months, especially June 2025, have seen a remarkable acceleration in India's semiconductors ambitions. The sheer volume and strategic nature of the announcements highlight that India isn't just bringing manufacturing, but actively building a comprehensive self-reliant ecosystem at an unprecedented speed. June 16th, mark the dates. First fabrication facility, Tata Electronics, announced a monumental investment of rupees 91,000 crore for India's first large-scale semiconductor fabrication plant in Dholera, Gujarat, partnered with Taiwan's Power Chip Semiconductor Manufacturing Corp. This signifies the core manufacturing capability with production expected by December 2026. Now, June 16th, massive investment pipeline, India's semiconductor ecosystem now commands a staggering investment pipeline of 21 billion US dollars, covering primarily manufacturing as well as crucial assembly, testing, marking, and packaging, and outsource semiconductor assembly and test facilities. June 14th, talent development. Leading Indian institutes are launching specialized semiconductor courses, shifting focus to fabrication skills to meet industry demand. June 12th, global acquisitions for expertise. Indian companies like Tata Electronics and LNT Semiconductor Technologies are strategically acquiring overseas businesses to gain proprietary technology experienced teams rapidly enhancing domestic capabilities. Early June, indigenous component rollout confirmed. Multiple ministerial confirmations affirm that India's first indigenously produced semiconductor components are on track for rollout by mid-2025, reduced using local machinery and engineers. Early June regulatory support and new facilities. The government is special economic zone rules to promote semiconductor manufacturing, benefiting major projects like Micron's ATMP facility in Sanant. New manufacturing facilities are also being established across Uttar Pradesh, including an HCL Foxcom joint venture in Jewar with an investment of rupees 3,700 crore and separate facility in Lucknow with an investment of rupees 2,500 crore. May 21st, Advanced Design Centers. India is even pushing the boundaries in design with new centers in Noida and Bangalore dedicated to developing cutting-edge 3 nanometer components, showcasing ambitions across the entire life cycle of semiconductor products. May 24th, Northeast India's role. Prime Minister Mr. announced that the first Made in India component would be produced at Tata's semiconductor facility in Jagi Road, Assam, which represents an investment of rupees 27,000 crore. This isn't merely about setting up a new factory. It's about building a fully integrated value chain from nurturing, cutting-edge design to establishing fabrication plants for core 
integrated circuits and then crucial ATMP and OSAT facilities for packaging and testing. India is covering all bases. The aggressive timeline, robust government incentives and the entry of major Indian and global players indicate a long-term commitment. This rapid development aims to capture 5% of the global semiconductor market by 2030. While progress is promising, sustaining this momentum requires continuous effort. Faster project execution, a relentless focus on talent development across all aspects of semiconductor manufacturing and significant investment in research and development are paramount. The goal is not just to produce existing designs but to foster indigenous innovation and become a leader in next generation silicon technologies by addressing these areas. India will solidify its position as a reliable strategic partner in the global semiconductor supply chain, significantly reducing import dependency and propelling its technological independence. India's ascent in the semiconductor world is undeniable. This is a game changer for our economy, our national security and our place in the global technology landscape. What are your thoughts on India's burgeoning semiconductor ecosystem? Share your insights in the comments below. If you found this explainer valuable, please hit that like button and subscribe for more in-depth analysis India's technological advancements. Thanks for watching and stay tuned to OneStats for the news that matters.